Well, I mean, how do you feel? Because it's, it's like here, and that's guaranteed. And there is no fear. I don't have to convince you guys out of it. There's absolutely no fear. We have the emperor here, which is vitality. This is also the man in charge. So this is, this is actually getting to, getting to the decision maker. This is actually also having your, just sort of like, it, even though Mars is in retrograde, feeling your mojo kick back in, feeling your sexuality, your sexuality uh, kick back in, your vitality. It's real Mars energy of, I'm gonna do this. Oh, I'm gonna do this. You're gonna know. This is definitely the time to place your bets, especially on November 23rd. This is the time to place your bets. This is the time to go for it. This is the time to invest. But I just wanna say, this is nothing that you've heard of before, but it's the same possibility that you've tried over and over again and never gotten good results at. But it's a whole new opportunity. It's a whole new person. It's a whole new manuscript. It's a whole new proposal. But finally, you're seeing something that actually fucking makes your heart jump. You know, you haven't felt this in so long and it's here and you almost thought, okay, nothing's going to do this to me. But it is absolutely going to be done to you. You can't believe you found this. This is such a great idea. You're going to jump on it. It's, it's almost like, I got to get this before anybody else does because you're just so in the know you have so much it's not just about your mind it's like your mind your heart your confidence it's all in it's all in you're certain of this eight of swords you were uh, okay so this has definitely to do with um being left behind feeling left behind you may have rejected this in the past you may have, or they have, may, or this opportunity may have rejected you in the past. May have just walked away, because the Eight of Swords is here. So it's got something to do with being abandoned or feeling stuck, feeling like, hey, there's no way out. Respond to this, guys. But there is. It's there is. It's, it's almost like you're staring at something that you never, that you didn't even see before. But now all of a sudden, it's clear. This is Major Arcana again. This is this is. Five of Cups in reverse, which means you're finally able to let go of disappointments from the past. This is something that makes all the disappointments from the past look stupid, right? That's what it is. Art, temperance, and the Empress finally having the money and the resources to be able to make something work or find the solution. You know, sometimes we have the drive and sometimes we have the resources, but very rarely do we have them both together. I remember when I knew my life had really changed, and I think it was before I started this channel, but I had walked into the store, I think it was like TJ Maxx or something, and it was one of these really special moments because I was doing something really fucking mundane, right? But all of a sudden, all around me, I was like, oh, I love this shirt. I love these pants. Perfect fit. Every, I had a beautiful, powerful, eye-opening experience when I realized every other time before, when I had money, I never saw anything that I liked. And every other time before, when I found everything that I liked, I was broke and I couldn't get it. All of a sudden, the equilibrium, all of a sudden, both sides were there, both pieces. I had a shit ton of money. I didn't have to worry. I could just spend what I wanted to. And everything was fitting me. And these are my favorite clothes. Some of them, I, like I still have. I mean, it was one of those moments when you realize, yeah, my life is definitely fucking different. I have. This is like that perfect moment that I thought would never happen, but here it is. You have the drive, you have the insight, you have the creativity, and you have the resources. You know how to fix something, you know how to get it done. I still am vibrating with healing here as well. Let's see specifically how it's playing out. Career. 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 How is this energy playing out in Scorpio's career? Please feel free to give me times and dates. You're walking away when it comes to career. You walked away from something that was just either with you or somebody that you were like a significant other or whatever, walking away from something that was not fulfilling you. Like leaving something, you, don't, you didn't care about it anymore. You were done, you were tired of working on it and you stopped blaming yourself for being tired of working on it. 
because you realize no it just doesn't fulfill me anymore it's i'm supposed i feel this way because i'm supposed to move on from it so you were finally able to move on from something that you just you couldn't put any more energy or effort that happened in the past it happened around the full moon that just passed scorpio how is this energy playing out with regards to their career specifically ten of cups is now here so by the next full moon remember that's that's mid-december by the next full moon there is a lot of happiness and abundance and the ability to have partnership here it's, it's just like it's it's almost like where there wasn't partnership when you were working now there is it's it's finding somebody who really appreciates you in a place where you really belong between these two full moons so you know about the time of when this is going to play out but there's an opportunity that's coming sometime this week so that you're where you belong by the next full moon when it comes to career it's also a sense of something that you thought was empty or finished suddenly gets filled up it's got to do with poverty it's got to do with going broke putting everything into it or deciding to walk away for your family and then in some ways feeling like there was nothing left or giving giving your all to your personal life instead of your career could have been five of pentacles means being concerned there were some concerns about finances or um, finances being really low and then we have prince of swords meaning suddenly a communication comes through or you finally take action maybe because things got so bad <laughs> it's almost like getting that golden ticket right when you think that everything else yeah it's like getting that golden ticket right when you think that everything else is done this is in the past it's got to do with an obligation from the past it's taking action on a something you were contracted to or an obligation from the past that had to do with with a financial thing regarding your work and you were afraid that it wasn't going to come through this is this is actually being able to start taking action on that now especially if you were looking for permission some sort of copyrights or something like that yep yeah, because look what just came out. We found the star card when it came to career, as well as the Ace of Pentacles, which we got in the YouTube reading. That means your wildest dreams are about to come true when it comes to, uh, you ready? Get ready to be a star because it's coming t through. It's almost like you felt like it fell on dead ears, that you put all this effort and energy and money and attention and hope into something you're finally going to hear, and it's going to be what you want to hear. The opportunity is going to be given to you are you ready or something that you put all your heart and soul into it's like the profitability finally turns on and you may have gotten gone broke from this and put in a lot of invested a lot of your own money or somebody else did on your advice and now it's like okay it's like now i understand why i took the risk and they're happy about it i think maybe there was tension building um, with regards to wow I trusted you and it seems like you sunk me and all of a sudden cha-ching cha-ching they're gonna realize best investment I ever made this is a huge investment it could have to do with something that is written a written proposal you found the next big thing or somebody's just discovered you after you put your whole all, all into that all into this would could have been an opportunity that was passed up in the past because of contracts or because of fear Somebody was afraid to take a fucking risk. But maybe somebody walked away. And you know what? That person wasn't, that person or whoever you were working with or wherever you're working, they were never going to do it for you anyway. But because they walked away, you got out of that contract and you were free to be able to say, I'm going to go with this. And you put, you, you like put, you bet everything on it. Now your bet is about to hit the jackpot love and relationships so this could have to do with your family too remember that um it's not just sex and romance we'll get to that later love and relationships how is this energy playing out somebody finally appreciates you 
in some ways you could decide to be single moving forward moving into the future realizing i don't need to be in this situation or this relationship anymore like i'm okay with being out of it but the first thing i thought was finally getting finally getting the credit that you deserve that's a little bit in the future so i would say by the end of this week you're fine somebody is finally getting the credit or they're finally offered a job or money is finally coming in for them that could be somebody that you really love or it could be you um it could describe the situation or the relationship four of cups was they were taking their last damn their they were taking they were taking their damn time basically they were just still fucking contemplating it or thinking about it or hemming and hawing they needed time to decide and they had other opportunities on the table they didn't really know what they wanted but they had choices maybe you had the choice you had the selection and now you know what the best investment is you're finally able to make that decision um I mean, for God's sake, it could be helping your child pick out their, their college, right? That's what it could be. Here's where new love comes in. And it's almost like, yep, I'm definitely ready. I'm definitely, I'm definitely ready to go. I'm definitely ready to give this a new shot. Look for that new moon toward the end of this week. That's on Tuesday of next week. That's November 23rd. You're going to jump in. It's almost like you're going to jump at it or you might, because you were contemplating. It's like you know which decision to make now when it comes to love and relationships you were contemplating a few different options and you didn't really know what you felt the best about it's saying clarity you're gonna know and you're gonna jump at it you're oh my god now this is the brand new opportunity the total new revitalization or new life so um, now this could be your loved one getting healed. This could be your loved one coming back almost from the dead. This could be a, a decision that was made to start a new relationship or begin a new relationship or um, it's, it's, it's really a new relationship. Being selected and being chosen because somebody excites you. The excitement is coming back. The heat is coming back maybe for the first time in a long time, you feel energized and enticed again, and you are very clearly know which direction to go. So if you have been struggling with deciding what to do when it came to an intimate relationship, there's gonna be no more confusion. Confusion is gone. Um, maybe you have been selected. Queen of, this is once again, it's coming up a fire sign. So that's Aries, Sagittarius. We got a lot of that energy. Or Leo, uh, somebody that's just extremely sexy, extremely attractive, finally feeling vital, maybe feeling you're sexy and attractive again, feeling confidence, got your confidence back, um, really being appealing, uh, really being attractive, or somebody's extremely attractive, and you're just going to jump at it like this. Th this little morsel is something that you just can't resist could be a female fire sign or king of cups yeah that's what it's it's saying female fire sign i mean fem feminine fire sign masculine water sign so those could be your potential partners or you finally having confidence that yes 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 this person loves me or yes 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 this person is finally being appreciated i it's like there's happiness here Finally, this is between the two moons. Finally being able to show somebody that they love you and be loved back by them and be happy with the outcome. Once again, it involved risk and you did it. You took the leap of faith and you're getting the answer that you want. However that applies. However that applies to your life. Money. <laughs> How does this energy play out with regards to Scorpio's finances? Um, broken hearted, really disappointed, completely stabbed in the heart. So finances not so good. Um, how is it financially playing out? Okay, so this has to do with some sort of divorce or some sort of breakup that was happening between you and a significant other. <laughs> or like something had was completed and you were very disappointed by like like being, yeah, it's done and it's finished. 
but in some ways, or it's saying the heartbreak is done, where there was heartbreak, now there's celebration. How does it play out specifically though? Oh, there are opportunities coming in for you. Okay, no, that's good. It means that legitimately, like I think it was your thoughts that were making you think the worst. Oh, I just got chills. Okay, yeah, your thoughts were making you think the worst. You were like, I'm done, I'm ruined, I'm sacked. I'm not gonna be able to afford this. There's, there's no way, but guess what? Yes, you can. Somebody's gonna come in and help you out, maybe a partnership or something that you did in partnership with somebody else. The money's finally fucking coming in from that. Um, yeah, lots of opportunities and it happens all of a sudden and really quickly being able to jump at the situation, go ahead, jump in it, or an offer is made. Somebody is coming toward you. Six of wands means victory and success. Trust this fire sign. Trust this fire energy, especially Aries energy. It's like, it's almost like, oh my God. Once again, I'm feeling like I finally found something exciting. I know this opportunity is gonna work out. It's saying, take the chance, take the opportunity, jump at it because quickly, almost quickly, it's gonna come to you and just grab it and ride it because guess what? It is going to be the best thing you ever did. This has got to do with a creative opportunity, something creative either that you're doing or that somebody else did and you're like, holy shit, this is gonna be the biggest thing since Star Wars type of thing, you know what I'm saying? It's like if you ever hear those stories of like, Oh, nobody ever believed in it. Nobody ever believed in the work. Nobody wanted to publish, you know, Harry Potter, you know, like nobody wanted to do it. Nobody wanted to, but all of a sudden you see, it's like the next big thing hits your desk and you're like, you know, to put your place, place your bets in there. And then that, you know, okay. Because honestly, this, this three of swords was like, Jesus Christ, the same old shit. Like I, I, it's like, like thinking that it was never gonna happen, being disappointed in everything, you're jumping. You're jumping at this opportunity and it's gonna be the best fucking thing you ever did because it is the next biggest thing. It is extraordinarily popular. It could even be Bitcoin. I hope you let your money ride and you didn't take it out. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is that really disappointed you, all of a sudden the next big thing comes around and you're right there to catch that wave and ride it out. So that's financial. <laughs> Romance and sex. Let's see how let's see how that goes for you. Guys, if any of you are subscribed to the Vimeo on demand page, remember I do a live um, a live chat for you guys specifically. So if you have just signed up, please send me the receipt and show me that you've signed up. And I will email you back the time. I think it's gonna be uh, Wednesday morning at 9 a.m. Wednesday morning at 9 a.m. we'll do our Vimeo subscribers only live chat and I'll send you the link and I'll send you the password for it. So just let me know. Um, we have simple acts of kindness. So see, that's the little things. Um, it's also somebody has been healing. They're finally able to come back to you and be willing to express love. Somebody is finally willing to show you that they care about you. They may be coming back after a trip or you got, maybe you guys have been at a distance. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. Um, doing the little things, doing those boring mundane things. So these aren't, these are actions, but they're not like big grandiose actions. Their sweetness, their kindness, their gentleness. Um, maybe somebody is a healer or a veterinarian. Um, love endures that sense of realizing that your relationship is going on to the next level or that the person still cares about you. It's also saying trust in it, rely on it, show them that you love them back, show them that how much you care, or they're finally showing you how much um, they care about you. And this is really solid, it's really kind of obvious. Love endures, love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. Okay, who is this person? Uh, two of Pentacles, yeah, things were iffy between the two of you for a while. You didn't know you didn't know how things were going to go. You didn't know if this was worth investing in. You weren't sure of the value or things were changing and it wasn't that they were over. 
um, but you know they were kind of in limbo for a while well not yeah they were this is the hanged man oh shit things were in limbo for a while you were stuck you didn't know if things were going to move forward and grow but really that was just the universe making you stronger now that could also be a reference to you having been single for a while um, but it's almost like you wanted to be certain, you wanted to be sure, and you weren't. It took you a while to like really feel certain about something. We have the King of Swords, so me being able to make a decision about something. Um, and then the Queen of Pentacles finally deciding to invest in it. We have the Five of Cups which is being disappointed, being disappointed that somebody didn't pull the trigger before, but now you're, they're taking action and the sun card is here, which means sex, vitality, sexiness, romance, and actual love wanting to be with each other, finding somebody that actually takes action or that you actually wanna take action on. You let me know in the comments below. I cannot fucking wait. In the darkest part of the year, you get the one of the best weeks ever. I, it's just exceptional energy, especially for, you know, sex and coming back together. It's like they had to leave you or you had to leave them in order for you to know that it was, it was right. Or you had to take that like sort of hiatus of just being alone and, 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 and maybe, yeah, just being alone so you could grow and you could establish yourself. And this is when the stalemate ends, my friends. And it's beautiful. Moving on. This has got to do with Leo energy. It's like romance comes back into your life or comes back into your relationship. Somebody's finally willing to make a commitment and go and, like I say, pull the trigger on making this happen. I don't know what this is about. It could even be about the two of you. Um, your partner, uh, whatever, whatever goals you had set out, finally being able to move forward on them. You let me know in the comments below. I can't wait to see you back in the next videos. I love you guys and I'll see you next week. Bye.